Hiya. Welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Channel, where we keep great radio from the past alive. And today we're going to 98 WOGL Philadelphia. Uh, they pretty much been playing oldies in Philadelphia since 1987 when they dropped hot hits. And WOGL did something really cool, an idea they took from their sister station, WCBS FM in New York. WOGL has stage two extensive radio greats reunions of popular radio DJs from Philadelphia from the 1950s to the 1970s. The former jocks were flown into Philadelphia for this great weekend and reminisced about all the fun times they had back in the day. The first reunion took place April 23rd through the 25th, 1993, and included George Michael, Banana Joe, Frank X. Feller, Jim Nettleton, Dr. Donald D. Rose, Dan Donovan, uh, Brother Love, Joe Niagara, Dean Tyler, Jerry Blavitt, Hylett, Georgie Woods, Joe Grady, Ed Hurst, Don Cannon, Jay Cook, Dave Parks, and more. The second reunion took place May 10th through the 12th, 1996, and included many of the same radio personalities. All right, if you're ready, let's go back with the WOGL Radio Greats Reunion. Back to 1993 with Banana Joe Montione. I enjoyed doing this immensely. At first I was going to say no. I know that Jay was going to say no. But then when I saw the lineup, when you say, well, why would you say no? Because to tell you the truth, I cherish the time I had here, and I don't ever like to, to let it go, and I don't want it to be anything less than it was. And it was just really eight of the greatest years of my life. Anyway, when I left, before we left, we listened to tapes of everybody and their cousin. So many disc jockeys did not sound like they really cared about the music they were into. And then we heard this guy. This guy was off the wall. His name was Montione. And we said, are you kidding me? How can he, Philadelphia, uh, an Italian in Philadelphia, he's going to own the city. Sure enough, Banana Joe was his name. Banana Joe Montione. Did I say your last name halfway right? You said it perfectly. But it turns out, <laughs> and then he said, hey, you know, you're my idol. When I was growing up, I said, no, when I was growing up, I was broadcasting to you. And I, by the way, lest I forget, I want to say thank you to uh, Mayor Ed Rendell for calling in. Uh, Ed, remember, you know, as the mayor... And his wife, Midge, works with a big law firm. Their song, by the way, is, um, what was it, Darling by the Beach Boys, which we played for you. Now, Mayor, don't forget, the deal was, I would do this show on WOGL. I would play Darling for you and your wife, so you get lucky tonight. In exchange for that, you have to get the sports machine on at 1130 in Philadelphia, because I can't come back here again and listen to my father-in-law kvetching all night about the fact that it doesn't come on. You know what I mean? So now, and by the way, uh, Mayor Ed, you know, if you don't get it on, we'll tell Midge who you really want to dedicate Darling by the Beach Boys to. Now that we have ruined the reputation of the mayor and WOGL, High Lit, Joe Niagara, Banana Joe, Jay Cook, they're all here. Banana Joe, you're next. If I might say something before we hit that song. It was 1970. It was the summertime. A friend of mine from Reading, PA, turned me on to WFIL. I, I grew up in Wilkes-Barre, upstate in Pennsylvania, about 100 miles away. The first person I heard on the radio was George Michael talking over an intro of La La Means I Love You by the <laughs> Delphonics. It was a Friday night in Philly, and perhaps you're falling in love in the back seat of a car. I said, now that's radio. I met George when I was 17. I took a ride down here. Jay Cook was nice enough to show me around. George walked in Jay's office. It was a big thrill for me. I was sweating. I shook hands with him, and I said, when you decide to leave Philly, I'd like to be the guy to replace you. He gave me a little nudge on the arm and goes, go get it. <laughs> it happened. I was lucky. George, you know, went on to WABC, and I was fortunate enough to come in uh, after him at already the number one show in the city. George, I just want to tell you, you have been and are my inspiration in the radio business. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. And, and I want to tell you, this has been a great weekend. It's already started. Do you know that no one yet today will own up to who stole your banana mobile? I mean, I, <laughs> It was I, actually the banana. The car they left, they took the 14-foot fiberglass banana off the top of it at a charity event at Villanova. I don't want to start any r rumors, but it was Wally Bruckner at Villanova <laughs> in a fraternity that stole that banana. And they have pictures of it with great pride. George, God bless you. Good luck with the sports machine. It's a monster banana in L.A. Banana Joe live. is next. Thank you. You are and always have been a sweet-talking guy as the Radio Greats reunion continues on W-O-G-L. Here comes the Chiffons, Banana Joe Montione, back on the radio in Philadelphia. Turn it up! Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Oldies 98 W-O-G-L. Banana Joe Montion right here along with you on the Radio Greats Reunion. We've got some incredible people in town. You heard King George, George Michael all throughout the afternoon. I landed in Philadelphia International Airport, got in a cab. I told the guy, dial up 98.1 right now. There was King George Michael nailing the intro of Crocodile Rock, just like I remembered him. Uh, we are Frank X Feller, W-I-B-G, one of the Wibbage great guys, coming on uh, the air after me at 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, Jim Nettleton will be here tomorrow. Dr. Donald D. Rose, Dangerous Dan Donovan will be here tomorrow. Brother Love, Joe Niagara, Dean Tyler, Jerry Blavitt, Hylett, Georgia Woods, Joe Grady, Ed Hurst, Don Cannon, of course, who's on the air every day here, but he qualifies as one of the old guys, too. Don't tell him I said that. Of course, Jay Cook, Dave Parks, John Reckons, Landecker, and J.J. Jeffrey round it all out. What a weekend for you, Philly! My name is Mort. I am the master pretzel baker. But not hurry. It all ends May 1st. There. Oh, what a difference. Hi, Lynn Turner. What's that you say? Where's it happening? On a Friday night, hi, this is WOGL's High Lid. Let's get together at Mr. T's tonight, Route 202, south of Route 1 in Concordville. If you're looking for the best Friday night dance in town, join me Friday night at Mr. T's in Concordville. Mr. T's is what you need every Friday night. And every Saturday night, I'll see you at Cook's Cottage Green, Ashton and Willits Road, near Northeast Philadelphia Airport. Saturday nights, dancing at Cook's Cottage Green, Ashton and Willits Road, near the airport in Northeast Philadelphia. It's big time. It's Cook's Cottage Green Saturday night. And every Sunday, it's special. If you're looking for a good Sunday night dance, join me at Club Egypt, Delaware Avenue, and Spring Garden Street in Philadelphia at the Water. Front. See you there with a free buffet. Club Egypt, Delaware Avenue, and Spring Garden. Sunday night, stores open up at 7. Be there. The best oldies. Yeah. On the best station. All right. 98.1 WOGL. Morning, Joe. The Philly forecast clear tonight. A low down to 40. Sunny, a gorgeous Saturday with a daytime high 65 and 61 right now. Number 11 from 73. Day after day, I'm more confused. Uh oh, guys, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Number one. Wait a minute. There's dead air. You're, 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 and you know what is grass. You think I'm the lawnmower and I'm mowing close. Don't you ever have dead air? That's rule number one. Dead gummit. That's why you're going back to Florida. Boy! There is no can't at this radio station. Do you remember that? Did you really there say is that? No can't. Is that really something you yes. said? Guilty of sin. <laughs> Banana Joe right here on Oldies 98 WOGL. They're going to give me the phone numbers and everything because I'd love to talk to you. Get on the banana phone and give me a call. Here's the Jarmel. A little bit of soap. We'll never watch. Or we might Oldies 98 W-O-G-L and Banana Joe Montione here back on the air in Philadelphia. What a great weekend this is turning out to be. George Michael just kind of set the tone for everything. And I was talking to King George a few minutes ago about uh, a moment in time. It was the springtime of 1975. It was my first experience with what was known as the WFIL Helping Hand Marathon. And we used to have these major events and raise money for the little charities around the Delaware Valley. And George had always kind of been the anchor of that. He was uh, at WABC in New York already. We had had the marathon. Uh, we had invited some special guests. The main guest was John Lennon. It turned out to be the last real appearance of John Lennon's career because the baby was born uh, shortly thereafter and John went into self-imposed retirement. So it turned out to be a very special, special time. George was with us uh, during that whole weekend, but he couldn't talk on the air because of a contractual deal with ABC. They just weren't nice to him about that. And we uh, had him in there during the last uh, hour of the marathon with me and John. Let's listen to some of that now. That's the three degrees. And when will I see you again? It's the 1975 WFI Helping Hand Marathon. The numbers are still going. CO3, 6400. We're way ahead of what we anticipated. But, but we, we need more. We need more. More, more, more. Oh, yeah. My God, we've got to beat those next year people. Oh, yeah. We've been joined by a lot of people in the other studio. I, I'm really... In, in fact, we've been sewn together. Yeah, yeah. We've been sewn together. Uh, we've been brought together by a deep feeling of... Is there a way... Onion. Is there a way that we can, we can get those people in there on the air? Is there a way that we can get those people in there on the air? Okay, there is. But meanwhile, we have some people in here. George Michael is here. Chiquita. George, uh, All the way uh, from New York, yeah. Philadelphia, right? Yeah. 
I really, I'm not certain what you can say or do, but you're here. And If John Lennon can say or do, I can say or do. And that was George's attitude during that weekend. <laughs> He certainly said, "Well, we're gonna we're gonna get involved in this thing. This is too important, and and, and we'll hear a little bit more of that a little bit later on." And uh, we did a lot of talking during that weekend about the Beatles. John talked about how they got together. John talked about how they broke up. And let's listen to some of the music they made on OGL. <laughs> He's 90 AWOGL and Banana Joe Montione back on the air in Philadelphia. We'll uh, reach over to the banana phone, take some of the uh, callers in just a few minutes. If you don't have the numbers, 1 800 942 8998. And the fax number is 668 5977. Of course, there you go, 215. Stick around. We got a lot of memories tonight. Urgent! 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 Five custom conversion van companies have joined together with Sport Dodge in Burlington, New Jersey for a multi million dollar. Surplus custom van sale. Great prices all the time. Spiegel Outlet Store. Spiegel Outlet in Franklin Mills. Everybody who knows goes to Melrose. Everybody who knows goes to Melrose. Everybody who knows goes to the Melrose. Almost everybody in Philadelphia knows the Melrose Diner. Over a million patrons a year enjoy that dependable Melrose quality year in and year out. The Melrose Diner and Bakery, for over 50 years, a Philadelphia tradition. Everybody knows, goes to Melrose. 15th Street, Snyder, and Passy Young. What's that you say? Where's it happening? On a Friday night? Hi, this is WOGL's Highland. Let's get together at Mr. T's tonight. Route 202, south of Route 1 in Concordville. If you're looking for the best Friday night dance in town, join me Friday night at Mr. T's in Concordville. Mr. T's is what you need every Friday night. And every Saturday night, I'll see you at Cook's Cottage Green, Ashton and Willits Road, near Northeast Philadelphia Airport. Saturday nights, dancing at Cook's Cottage Green, Ashton and Willits Road, near the airport in Northeast Philadelphia. It's big time. It's Cook's Cottage Green Saturday night. And every Sunday, it's special. If you're looking for a good Sunday night dance, join me at Club Egypt, Delaware Avenue and Spring Garden Street in Philadelphia at the waterfront. See you there with a free buffet. Club Egypt, Delaware Avenue, and Spring Garden. Sunday night, stores open up at 7. Be there. All right, Philly forecast looking clear tonight. Just a gorgeous springtime Friday night in the city. A low down to 40. Sunny tomorrow with an eight-time high 65. Currently, it's beautiful. Little windy, 62 W-O-G-L degrees. Johnny Rivers taking us to Tennessee. Long distance information. Oh, yeah, out of Memphis, Tennessee. That's Jay Cook country, and that's where the, the cooker comes from. In fact, uh, I remember an old air check of Jay Cook when he was at WHBQ in Memphis, which is before he got to FIL, where he used to call himself, are you ready for this, guys? The little bitty buddy, Jay Cook. He's going to love me for that. Uh, <laughs> the banana phone has been ringing. We're hearing from Conchahawk and Cherry Hill. Hello, Levittown. Ardmore checking in for Martha the Vandellas on OGL. All these 98 WOGL and Banana Joe Montione back on the air in Philadelphia. This was my favorite time of the year to be on the air in Philly. Springtime was just so beautiful around here in the Delaware Valley. I met a gentleman back in the uh, mid-70s named Kenny Gamble, and he introduced me to another guy, Leon Huff. And they wrote and produced some of the most incredible music I had ever heard, and they did it all right here in Philadelphia. And this song was about the first one of their tunes that I got to play on WFIL and every time I hear it it takes me right back there you know we've all had a love that you lose and you gotta have it back well this is the song about the love I lost it was a sweet love it was a good love Teddy Pendergrass Harold and the Blue Notes all these 98 W-O-G-L Banana Joe Montione back on the air in Philly I'm hearing from all kinds of uh, great people uh, gentlemen that used to drive the banana mobile call a few minutes ago. Uh, I, I hope I don't hear from everybody, if you know what I mean. 
Uh, we just heard from uh, actually a, a listener that called up just feeling good about remembering the old days. I remember you, and you—you know—you guys, you bring back so much fond memories. Uh, every every guy, every time you guys talk, I got the tape running. That's great. My ex-wife used to do that too. Actually, stick around. We're gonna remember together. And if you have some music you'd like to hear that maybe I could get to for you, one eight hundred nine four two eighty nine ninety eight, or the fax is six six eight fifty nine seventy seven. Get on a banana phone now. Forty eight monthly. With 700 down plus taxes and license, first payment and $200 security due on delivery. MSRP 12974, total payments 8112, purchase option 5319, 15 cents per mile over 60,000 miles. Your gift with any 1750 long chrome purchase while supplies last at Macy's. The best oldies on the best station. 98.1 WOGL. W-O-G-L and Banana Joe Montiel or Bone Anna Joe as some people remember me as here on the radio in Philadelphia. It's Friday night in Philly. We're all uh, set to go out. We're going to head out down to the uh, Phillies and Dodgers game a little bit later on. Most of the ex-boss jocks are already down there. So you know there's a lot of hot air over the vet tonight. And let's go over to the banana phone note. We're hearing from all kinds of people tonight from all over the Delaware Valley. Who's this on the Bone Anna phone? Hi, is this Joe? This is Banana Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi. I'm a friend of yours from Pittston. You are? Yep. And you said you were from Wilkesbury. I'm disappointed. Who is this? Well, you really don't know me, but I know you. I think you graduated with my brother. Did you graduate in 70? 71. Oh, then you graduated with my old boyfriend. Well, what's your name? Well, my name's Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi. Well, thanks for listening. And say you're from Pittston, okay? All right, I'm from Pittston. Okay, great. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, when people come from northeastern Pennsylvania, which is up in the Pocono area up there, you've got to say exactly what town you come from. Otherwise, they'll hammer you for it. <laughs> nice to hear from you, though, and nice to hear from some people from my hometown of Pittston. Let's go back. It was 1970. Diana had her first solo effort. Always 98 W O G L. I always said I would be back to you, Philadelphia. This is Bone and Joe Montione on a Friday night in Philly, and I'm just getting calls from everybody tonight. It's unbelievable. And this city is amazing because people do not forget in Philadelphia. Hello, Mike Shannon, the Vice President, General Manager of Y102 Radio in Reading, Pennsylvania. Mike, I remember when they called you Ego Ed Gallagher on the Villanova radio station, and you were there the night they stole that big banana, weren't you? Thanks for being such a great guy. Herman's Hermits on OGL. Falling in love on a Friday night in Philadelphia with Bonanna Joe on Oldies 98 W-O-G-L. It is the Radio Greats reunion. I just want to thank all the wonderful folks, Scott Walker and company, here at W-O-G-L for putting this incredible weekend on. It is a big undertaking, and it took a big station to do it. Now, let's find out what's going on around the Delaware Valley. Brad, how you doing? Good. How are you tonight? We have a major TV star possibly changing networks to uh -oh, talk about wait tonight. Wait a minute. Are you talking major in size? Both. <laughs> I think I know who you're talking about. You know, I live in L.A. Oh, so you know then. And I live right near MTM CBS Studios. Uh -huh. And could we be talking about Roseanne? The inside word. And Philadelphia weather says sunshine tomorrow. We'll check it all right after this. The event you're about to hear will truly amaze you. The Gordons were out driving when they saw strange lights on the horizon. Lisa, look up ahead. What is it? Little did they know they would encounter an event so big. Honey, stop the car. So incredible. Bill, get the camcorder. It could only be Amazing Savings, the Mazda sales event. I don't believe it. It's a Mazda dealership. Where they found tremendous values, from tough Mazda trucks to beautifully styled sedans. With affordable lease offers on the 626, 929, and even the RX-7 Motor Trends Import Car of the Year. We can afford a car like this? And cash back on the award-winning MPV, plus cash back and air or automatic on Protégé for savings of up to $2,090. Amazing. That's amazing savings at your Mazda dealer now, where amazing value can easily happen to you. At your local Mazda dealer now, savings based on $1,250 cash back for Mazda, plus MSRP at factory installed air or automatic. Offers end July 6th. See dealer for details. It's 6.53. Good evening. I'm Brad Siegel with an Oldies 98 News update brought to you this hour by Mazda. 
The Pentagon is out with a report on the tail hook sexual abuse scandal. It implicates 117 officers for sexual misdeeds, finds 50 more lied during the investigation. Patricia Ireland is the head of the National Organization for Women. There has to be some serious consequences, including some demotions potentially, and uh, that, that helps send the word that this will not be tolerated. President Clinton calls the report very disturbing. Fire officials in Margate, New Jersey, say an early morning general alarm fire appears to be suspicious. The blaze heavily damaged a warehouse on Decatur Avenue, then spread to an apartment building. Several people have been left homeless. Police are questioning three people. Apparently, we've not heard the last of Leonard Toast. The former Eagles owner says he will appeal yesterday's defeat of his lawsuit. A jury turned down Toast's suit, which claimed the Sands Hotel and Casino allowed him to gamble while he was drunk. He's trying to recover some of the millions he lost at the blackjack tables. Groundbreaking ceremonies held today to mark the start of major reconstruction of the Girard Station on SEPTA's Market Frankfurt elevated line. And CBS might land another big star. Roseanne Arnold says she's definitely leaving ABC. She tells the New York Times that her relationship with that network is absolutely over and says she will take her show to another network once her contract is up. 654 at Oldies 98.1. Philadelphia weather. Clearing skies tonight, the overnight low down to 40. Sunshine tomorrow and a high of 65. Right now, 62 in Philadelphia. Phillies open up a new series down at the Vet tonight. We'll check in with Scott Graham right after this. Hey, Philadelphia, are you looking for a way to shake those winter blues? Why not try the Philadelphia Spring Classic Art and Craft Show this weekend at Memorial Hall, 4930706. Checking Oldies 98 Sports brought to you this hour by Philadelphia Crafts Classics. Phillies open up a series against the L.A. Dodgers down at Veterans Stadium tonight. For a report, let's check in with Scott Graham. Scott? Brad, you can call it homecoming time here at the Vet tonight as the Phils get set to start off a three-game weekend set with the L.A. Dodgers. That's because Mike Piazza is coming home. The godson of Dodger manager Tommy Lasorda and also a Norristown native is now the starting catcher for the Dodgers. They are in tonight and facing off against the Phils who currently still hold down first place in the National League East by a game and a half over both the Cardinals and the Expos. Kurt Schiff Schilling gets the ball tonight going up against Ramon Martinez. It's going to be a bit chilly again, but no threat of any inclement weather, so it should be a good night for baseball. If you don't want to come out, though, catch it all on AM Sister Station, Oldies 1210. And reporting from the vet, I'm Scott Graham, Oldies 98 Sports. Also in baseball tonight, expansion series number one as the Florida Marlins and Colorado Rockies meet for the first time this year at Mile High Stadium in Denver. Draft day is nearing for the NFL. The Eagles, as you know, with the number 13 and 24 picks in the first round on Sunday. Pressure is on Coach Rich Kotite. Norman Brayman says he wants two immediate starters with those first round picks. In the NFL today, lineman Anthony Munoz comes out of retirement. He signs on with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. First round playoff action continues. The Campbell Conference tonight in the NHL and down at the Spectrum tonight, it's the Sixers hosting the New York Knicks. It's 657 for Oldies 98. I'm Brad Siegel and now the Radio Greats reunion weekend continues with Banana Joe. Thank you, Brad Siegel. As Philadelphia sports fans, they're still the same, right? If they don't have a winner, everybody stinks, right? No matter how good the season is, you got to win the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Fantastic Johnny C. W-O-G-L. Oh, baby. 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 Sonny and Cher were a pair right now. And the beat goes on. And the beat goes on. on the beat goes on. on, on. WFIL's Banana Joe is on the air. On the WFIL, better pressure, nothing for nothing. In case y'all wondering what that is, that is called a banana cut. I'll get into exactly what it is a little bit later on. Banana Joe. WFIL, nonstop music time, 819, a bone added show on a fair and cool Monday night in Philly. Partly sunny, the outlook for tomorrow, the daytime, I about 60. Overnight, low tonight, about 45. Winds at 7, not too windy, hold on. WFIL temperature, 59. For fulfilling us, the first finale, Mr. Souls, TV one night. Keeping the music and the memories alive. WOGL, WOGL FM, Philadelphia. Man, didn't I have a high voice back then? I'm telling you, that's all right, but it did work out. Let's count them down. The year 1973, number 15, Edgar Winter. 